Okay, so we're in 5, 1, um, and we can solve right triangles. Um, so solving right triangles is maybe finding more pieces. So all of the stuff we're talking about, you have to have a right angle to use all this. Um, we'll talk about how to deal with outright angles later in the class. Um, so let's find the unknown values. So this is beta. It's like a fancy B. Um, it's a Greek letter. Alpha. Um, and then A and B we need to find. Alpha, we actually know. Um, we just use Greek letters for angles just to make them look different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve maybe for the angle first. So we may or may not remember this, but angles in a triangle add up to 180. So right angles are 90. So we have 90 and 60. So we'll just have to do 180 minus 90 and 60. And we should get 30 degrees for beta. So we already solved for one piece really quickly. So we have all three angles. Um, and then we can just use some trig functions to find A and B. Um, so tangent of 30 isn't useful, and let me show you why. Because tangent of 30 would be B over A, which means we have two unknowns. So that doesn't really help me right now. Um, so maybe I'll try sine or cosine of 30. Um, so sine of 30 will be B over 4 root 3, right? Opposite over hypotenuse. And we can solve this. Multiply both sides by 4 root 3. And then we get to do some unit circle practice as well. So B is 4 root 3 times sine 30. So some of you have memorized these. Some of us are going to just use the unit circle. So we're going to, um, if you've memorized it, great. If not, I'm going to draw the unit circle. Uh, there we go, room. So 30 degrees um, would be the same as pi over 6, which would be down here. And then sine is the y value. So sine is the up and down, which is the short side. So it's 1 half. So 4 root 3 times sine of 30 would be 1 half. Sorry, sine of 30 is 1 half, and then when we multiply, 4 and 2 cancel out, so we get 2 root 3 for b. Cool, and then I guess we can use cosine to find c, to find a. So cosine of 30 is a over 4 root 3. So we multiply by 4 root 3 again. They cancel out. So a is 4 root 3 times cosine 30. And then we already drew 30 degrees, and then cosine is the, um, the horizontal or the x, so that would be root 3 over 2, because it's the long side. So we get 4 root 3 times root 3 over 2, um, which brings us to um, 4 and 2 cancel to give me 2, 3 and root 3 become 3, so we get 6. So A is 6. And we've solved the right triangle. If you wanted to check your work, we could use Pythagorean theorem. Um, so just a quick check a squared plus b squared, we want to make sure it equals c squared. So 6 squared plus 2 root 3 squared. We'll come back to the right side. 36 plus 2 squared is 4. Root 3 it becomes 3. So 36 plus 12, 48. And then my c would be 4 root 3. So when we square that, 4 squared is 16, root 3 squared is just 3, and we get 48. 